Hi, and welcome to Le Studio Marco Primo. Today we're going to quantize a drum recording using Magic Samplitude Pro X4. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not fond of quantizing any instruments. I prefer having them live, even if there's some little imperfections. Uh, but of course, a lot of you, a lot of people ask for that kind of uh, stereo music, maybe. Uh, so I'm going to show you how I'm doing it in Samplitude. Uh, and usually, uh, I prefer asking the musician to start over until the track is perfect but sometimes you're not the maker of the track and it comes from another studio you need to make some repairs so let's dive in right away okay um let's choose a part of the song Maybe this one. Okay, uh, I'm going to do a loop for that part. And then we're going to try to quantize this. Well, before we go uh, with the quantization of uh, drum parts, a part of a song, um, make sure that you're not fixing a little problem with a bigger armor. I'm meaning if, if only one note is uh, a bit wrong, you could fix only that note manually. So let me show you how right now. For example, if uh, let's, let's zoom in and check. You see, if that note is too far away, you could just move that note. So uh, let's see how. Um, and you could choose like this. Of course, I'm choosing every uh, tracks of the drum set because if you move just one, it will create delays and uh, phase uh, problems and stuff like that. So once the selection is done, it T to make a cut before and after your selection. And then you can move that part to be right on time. So let's listen. Okay. And of course, if you don't have any choice, I recommend that you um, quantize just a tiny part of the song at the time so you have more control. And if uh, the time signature change, if uh, some parts are uh, have faster hits, faster notes, you'll be able to control every aspect of the content. So let's go with the actual quantization. I recommend to uh, start with only the important tracks of the recording. Uh, here we have toms, bass drum and snare. If you uh, make the detection on all the tracks, you'll get too many transients. So you better ungroup your recording and then uh, choose bass drum, snare. And here we have toms, so we will select the, the, the toms as well. And uh, let's call the quantization tool in object, edit, uh, no, quantize quantization wizard so the first step is to uh, choose uh, the grid so this means at what level the quantization will be done uh, if we will listen to the song see we we are at 160 bpm and uh, the it seems that there's no it's faster than uh, an eighth notes so eighth is okay we could change it if we want once you've decided that you can um, work with the threshold which will uh, remove a bit of the off time notes from the detection and uh, the window will leave along uh, notes that are too far from the uh, from the time we, we could do something like this, maybe just a tiny bit 
to keep some life in the performance. And now the detection percussive, that's good. And then we'll play with the sensitivity on until uh, every um, transients are detected. So you see this one isn't. Let's go up a bit. Yeah, that seems nice. Okay. And we will consolidate the transients. Reason being, if uh, there's some transients on many tracks that are detected, uh, they could be delayed uh, for a few milliseconds and it will create phasings. So uh, consolidate is a good thing to do. After that, go back and select all the, the other tracks. Hold the control key on your keyboard and click on each tracks you want to add like this. And then we can choose split at transients. Okay. And then uh, quantize. And you see it creates uh, gaps. So you go there and remove gaps. And it's done. Let's listen to it. Okay, um, well, the thing is, uh, I don't know if you uh, heard, but uh, there's some toms, one tom hit that is missing. Okay. At least the attack of it is missing. So we can, could go in and try to uh, get it back. Um, where is it? Oh, it seems to be here. Okay, let's listen. Yeah, that's better. So the reason is, uh, Probably this tom was so far away from the time that uh, it wasn't detected well and it shifted in time. So we missed the, uh, the attack. Um, so once the quantization is done, you could uh, glue all those little parts together. So you keep them selected less, like this, right click and you choose uh, glue objects I hope you liked this video if you did please click on like consider subscribing hit the bell to get notifications and put comments questions that's what is driving the channel to go forward any questions will help others or give me ideas to do uh, new videos. And of course, share my videos. It's always a great help.